Hi everyone. Well, it's been ages since I've been on Facebook, so I thought I'd come on today and show you a little haul that I've got. I've been to Riverside Speeds in Market Deeping, uh, which is about an hour's drive from where I am, give or take 10 minutes. And um, yeah, I don't go very often, probably once a year, once every couple of years. And uh, so I had a good spend up far too much but hey ho it's got to be done isn't it so, <laughs> so yeah i'm here today to show my little haul that i well it's not even a little haul it's just lots of lovely stuff so um so yeah this is them uh they're on facebook and they're also on youtube so um look them up and um i did check before i left that they do post um so you can order online so give them a try so um the first thing i'm going to show you is just i bought some crimp uh pliers whatever they're called but when i got home i realized i already had a pair <laughs> that's what you get from it not checking before i went so but i got those uh these were on sale a little uh tub i hope you can see the color all right i'm using my um laptop to record today so so yeah they were reduced to a pound so and I don't know how many beads are in there but there's loads really pretty colour so I've got those and again these ones as well let me just sorry I might be able to see them better in my hand so that's the yellow ones and then these uh, teardrop faceted, oh sorry, um, I'm not, not sure what colour, like a smoky colour they are, really pretty and again only a pound in the sale, in their little sale basket that they've got. Um, the, main, the main reason I went is because I wanted to f find some frosted beads and I can't get them locally. And um, I'm not one to shop for beads online because I like to look at them and see them. So um, hence going over to Riverside Beads. So this is what I went for, this sort of thing. And look at this beautiful colour. Absolutely gorgeous. It hasn't got a tag on, so I can't tell you how much they are. But what these beads, they're one pound, they're eight millimetres and they're 150 a strand. But if you buy four strands you get them for five pound so I bought nine only because I picked my colours and then I wanted this colour as well so um so it's like a oh, I don't know what colour a, a pinky reddy colour corally colour really really pretty so that's that one and then I got one in um a very very light lemony colour really pretty and then of course everyone has to have a bit of pink not that i'm a pink person but they're the lovely and they're all the frosted ones that's what i went for the frosted ones and then just the clear frosted those and some green and i'm sure i didn't get every color i'm sure there were other colors so So yeah, four for five pound instead of six pound. And then these are the beautiful, beautiful blue's my favourite colour and I just love these. They're like a sky blue colour. Absolutely beautiful. And then some lilac-y colours. Really pretty. And then these this strand is really long i don't know if it's just because it's i don't know if it's got more beads but uh this is like a plum color a very very light plum color and look how many you get you get so many on each strand so they're well worth the money and then the last one is these um beigey 
uh, smoky coloured ones, sort of same colour as these faceted teardrops. So yeah, lots and lots of beautiful, beautiful coloured beads. Who doesn't want them in their life? Look how pretty. So that's those beads, and I did get some other bits while I was there as well. I got these. They're so pretty. And these are called Zebra Jasper. And they're again 8mm. But they're all different colours of pinks and greys and little hints of black in there. Really pretty. That's that one. And then I've got this colour as well, which is called Amazon. Amazonite, 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 however you say that. And this is like greens and beiges and teals. Pretty, pretty. Something like that. Maybe I shouldn't have used my um, craft towel on the background. It's a bit bright, isn't it? Um, and then I've got these ones as well. I hope you can see the colours. And this colour is called Pink Avon Aventurine Aventurine Aventurine. Again, eight mil. Really pretty. So that's them. Most of the beads I've got are crystals and pearls. I don't have a lot in the way. That's why I went out to get those, but I couldn't resist these while I was there as well because I'm out of this colour. Rondells or 8mm. 8 by 10mm. One pink Rondells. And one with a funny colour there. What's happened to that one? So yeah, nice and sparkly, like a bit of sparkle. And I got some of these again. These are six by eight crystal wandels in pink again. I'm a bit out of pink. People like pink for some reason. And then I got the um, smaller size as well, which is four by six. Crystal Wandels in pink again. So look how sparkly and pretty. And then I just got some um, clear teardrops. And these are uh, 11 by 8. So again, nice and sparkly. I love a crystal. Okay, so that's all the beads. Let's put them back, get them out of the way. That's all the beads I bought. And then I bought some of these uh, angel wings. And they're quite big ones. Can you see those? Really pretty. And there is 10 of those in a pack. So I've got some of those. I've got some of these bead caps because I'm out of bead caps as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So just, I can't even remember what size I've got. Pack 11 it says whatever that means so some bead caps <coughs> I got some um, different sized uh, spacer beads like daisy daisy spacers type things I'm not even going to open that back because they go everywhere uh, I've got some of these butterflies
and I've, they've got this new colour findings and I I mean you may have seen these colours before but I've never seen these before it's called champagne so I've got some um, curb chain but it's it's like it's not rose gold and it's not bright gold it's sort of it's really lovely it's like a dull gold champagne colour obviously while it's called champagne so I've got the chain some uh, spacer beads some pins all in the champagne colour they have uh, head pins little head pins these are head pins couldn't get the eye pins they didn't have those and some jump rings split rings whatever you want to call them so yeah that I think is my little haul from uh, Riverside Beads let me just put this away and I did while I was out beading I was trying to get find some bigger beads as well so I went to Hobbycraft and so that's let me shout out there it's www.riversidecrafts.co.uk uh, www riversidebeads.co.uk they've got craft stuff in the shop as well I should have said that, not just beads but they've got craft uh, the email is info at riversidebeads.co.uk and that's in Market Deeping which is uh, near Peterborough ok so then I went to Coleman's and to Coleman's Craft Warehouse not the stationery shop but I know a lot of you know it is a stationery shop but they've got the craft shop as well that I use so I got these out of hobby craft you know you get the little pots for 375 I think it was and I just needed some space and some things and I didn't have anything from gold so I got some gold there's some like snowflake daisy beads and there's some big big I don't know if you can see the bigger ones in there let's see if I can open it without getting everything everywhere you fill the pot up basically so I've got six of these as well and the rest is just all spacers like these I wanted the gold ones because I want to make something and I need something with a bit of gold so I don't have a lot. I usually use silver, chrome, whatever. So that's those. I've got some of those. 375. That was Hobbycraft. These are from Hobbycraft as well. It's from, uh, I think these are 10 mil. Crystal Rondell things. Um, what else did I get from there? Um, and these, I got some glass, jewellery glass, those are just four in a pack there, they were 250 I think. And then I got these little hooks because I like to make jewellery for journals and things, so I saw these hooks and I thought they'd be good to add to little, some beads to for journal page jewellery. And then again I needed some gold eye pins. So that was from Coleman. No, that was from Hobbycraft. And then in Coleman's I got some flower bee caps. I mean they're quite expensive Coleman's but when in need. Some flower bee caps. These are twisted bugle beads, only little ones, seven mil in silver. I don't know how many's in the pack, but quite a few of them. And they're long corrosive. And I've got some 12mm split rings as well. Don't find these very often, the big ones. You can make them yourself, but oh, who wants to do that? Uh, again, from Coleman's, these little um, teardroppy rondelles. 
and then these are like flat discs in the black again for something I'm making and then I found these and I thought oh, I haven't seen these before some little pins well big pins I've got my ruler so I can't tell you but they're about I don't know about two and a half three inches maybe and I've got one in rose, rose uh, well I only picked up the last two one in rose gold and one again in this um, again it looks like that champagne colour but it's a bit, little bit, maybe copper maybe it's the copper one so yeah, nice big pins and I thought you could put them on your, if you're making a big journal you could put some dangly bits and prettiness on that and put it on your spine on your journal or your mini album or something so, so yeah, I'm going to play with them as well so that's it ladies thank you for joining me and I'll be back soon over the coming weeks with some projects um using everything that i bought and obviously stuff on my staff as well so if you're interested keep your eyes peeled and i will see you very soon take care bye